Hey, it's Dr. Schmidt. So I want to go over some labs with you. Now, these labs are important because they find causes. Most lab tests don't find the cause. Lab tests will generally find a level of functionality or pathology. So when you go to the hospital and they test your kidneys, um, they're testing how well your kidneys are functioning or how diseased they are, but they don't test why. So your kidneys can be diseased because of uncontrolled diabetes, uncontrolled blood pressure, or uh, some sort of a toxicity. Okay, so these lab tests I'm gonna go over show cause, and this is a big deal. And then there's several companies that uh, do a good job with this, but I'm gonna focus on a company called Vibrant America. And there's uh, several reasons why, but number one, for example, regarding mycotoxins, that's the mold uh, toxins that go in your body, you breathe it in, you eat it, and the, the toxins destroy your tissue, and then the spores grow on the dead tissue. So mycotoxins. I had black mold poisoning in 2016. I thought I was going to die. If, you know, if you've seen my channel, you've, you've heard me talk about this. And in 2016, or January of 2017, when I ran my first mycotoxin test, I paid $750 for four mycotoxins tests. With this company, Vibrant America, for $390, you get 31 mycotoxins. So you get the most number of mycotoxins than any other lab company for the lowest price. Also, too, a lot of their labs are not where you go to a lab and they draw blood out of your arm in vials. With this company, you do a poke on your finger at home and you put the blood in a little circle and you let that dry and then you ship it off to the lab and they apply the labs to the blood spots. Okay, some of the labs are four blood spot samples. So as, as opposed to taking your blood drops and applying them to the labs, they apply the lab to the blood. Okay, it's a huge change. It makes it so much more convenient for you. Um, if you are a patient and you want this ordered, we uh, submit that to the company after you pay, and then they deliver that to your house. You do the lab test, you, you get the sample. They also do urine, stool, saliva, and then you ship that back and easy, super easy. So the main causes of chronic illness are a limited number. And here they are, pathogens, toxins, and diet. With Vibrant America, you can test the main toxins, that would be heavy metals and chemicals. And then you can test the main pathogens, and that would be mold, also known as fungus, candida, yeast. Also test parasites, virus, bacteria, and then Lyme. Lyme includes organisms that go inside your cells. Those organisms can be parasites or bacteria or virus, or even toxins go in this Lyme category. Lyme was first discovered in the 1980s. The first organism is called Borrelia burgdorferi, and then later they found co-infections. I'll just say the names if you ever, you don't have to memorize this, but if you ever hear these names again, you'll know what they are. Babesia, Bartonella, Ehrlichia, Anaplasma, Mycoplasma. There's a bunch of other organisms that are co-infections. Now, when it comes to Borrelia, there's a lot of different subspecies under that category. When you say the word Borrelia, it's like saying the word dog. It's like, is it a German Shepherd? Is it a Datsun? Well, with Borrelia, there's a whole bunch of different subspecies underneath that. And so Vibrant America tests a lot of these like dozens and you'll see it. So we'll go through this and uh, I'm not going to expect you to read along with me because I'm going to go fast. When we go through the lab, you're just looking for colors. Red means a uh, severe amount, yellow is moderate, and green means under control. And as I'm talking, I'm looking down at my laptop. I'm scrolling right here. You just can't see my laptop. Here it is. Okay, here we go. I'll be honest. These are my results. And this is the first time I've run them with this company. And at the beginning of these uh, labs, you'll see a summary. So here's a summary of the tick-borne illnesses, known as Lyme. And you can get them from ticks or lice or fleas or bed bugs or mosquitoes or there's other insects that bite you, spiders for example, and these insects can carry more parasites than Lyme, okay, but these organisms, they suck your blood and in the meantime they deposit the worst things and those things grow inside your body. It's not like a chemical or a metal 
in your body causing harm because those don't grow. Chemicals and metals don't expand and grow and replicate and reproduce. It's the organisms, they can grow. So one bite from 10 years ago can be affecting you right now. So here's the summary, and it says Borrelia burgdorferi right here, and there's various ways that they test it. IgG means that I had a problem with it in the past, and my immune system is looking out for it. It's active looking for it. IgM means I have a problem with it right now at this moment. So here's another Borrelia, and then here's another Borrelia that's active right now at this moment. So I have one, two, three different indicators that I have an active infection with Borrelia right now. And in the past, I had all of these, and it includes these co-infections. For example, here's a Babesia, and here's Bartonella, here's the Anaplasma, and then here we have a virus, and another, here's a bacteria, and here's another virus, and here's another bacterium. Now I'm going to scroll down, and I'll show you how they rate this, and it's just easy to see by the colors. So the yellows are moderate, and now they're already in the summary. You saw these, and then the reds are the ones that are um, out of control and like in high amounts. And the greens are good, so just scrolling. So there's a red, and there's greens, greens, green, 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 green. There's one red, greens. There's a couple reds there. Mostly greens, which is great. There's a couple yellows. These are the co-infections. There's greens and a yellow, green, green, green. So people who are really, really sick, they have a lot of yellows and reds. Now, I would never have predicted that I had Lyme. Continuing green. So let's let's finish this up. This is viruses, greens, green, green. Lots of data for a very low price. Lots of data. I'm not going to quote the price now uh, because it, it might change by the time you're watching this in the future. Okay, so you get the point. All right, let's move on. Now they have re references you can look up. There's 77 references to back up their data. So that concludes Lyme as a cause. Organisms that go in the cells, they hate the bloodstream. They will be in the red blood cells or in the white blood cells, but they, they hate the bloodstream. They go deep into the brain where there's very little blood, and they go, they go deep into the joints where there's very little blood. So uh, sometimes they'll go in the muscles, but they're in the cells. Now let's go to the next cause. This is heavy metals. Now throughout my whole career, you know, my job is to be healthy and help other people be healthy. I've done a lot of detoxification. I had my mercury fillings pulled out when I was young, a while ago, and uh, I have no heavy metals. They're all green. So we have aluminum, antimony, arsenic, barium, beryllium, cadmium, lead, mercury, nickel, thorium, okay, uranium. There's a radioactive element there. If you grew up in an industrial location or you worked in a factory, or you're a dentist, uh, you gotta get this stuff checked out. If you haven't ever detoxed your body of heavy metals, you probably have heavy metals. The next cause we're gonna go over are mycotoxins from mold. And at the beginning of every section, they have a summary. And I said that there's 31 here that they test. Here's the summary. I have two mycotoxins left, and they're both moderate, they're yellow. Here they are. So let's scroll down. And you'll see that here's aflatoxin, deadly, uh, they're green. And then here we have ochratoxin, which causes cancer and it's neurodegenerative. Here it's green. But, you know, four years ago, when I tested the four that were available for testing, there was only one lab in the whole country that ran mycotoxins. And I was high for all four. Well, here it shows that they're all now normal. And I have a little bit of work to do with two of them. But the results come from taking uh, detoxification supplements called binders. I sued my landlord uh, because the office was the source. And the defending attorneys thought that I had a unique personality because I was doing things that were not medical to try to clean my body of mycotoxins. And I showed them the research. It's binders that do it. But I, I don't have a unique personality other than I look at the science and I know how to fix the human body. If you ever had mold exposure, even when you were a kid, grew up, growing up in a moldy house, 
or I've seen a lot of college students, their first year in college in a moldy dorm, like one year in a moldy place and it destroys their health. Now they have sinus issues, they have lung pain, they're tired. I mean, you could live in a moldy place for three months or six months and end up with psychiatric issues. I've seen it, it's, it gets kind of wild. The next cause that we can test here is environmental toxins. These are chemicals. Now the summary shows I have three red and two yellow. The three red are glyphosate, which is pervasive. There was a study like 15 years ago showing 93% of Americans are urinating out glyphosate. They spray it in, on all the fields. It's in your bread. It's in your food. It's in organic food. It's in all of California's wines, even organic wine. So glyphosate um, harms uh, 251 enzymes. It blocks a whole bunch of normal biochemical pathways in your body. It causes cancer. Uh, Monsanto has been sued and they've lost and they've appealed and they've lost. Glyphosate is horrible. All right, let's scroll down and see what kind of categories of chemicals that they test. This is a urine test, as is the heavy metals and mycotoxins. The first category here is organochlorine pesticides. So chlorine, it's uh, widely used for killing all kinds of organisms and it's in your water. You're drinking chlorine. It's in your shower. Most antibiotics are kind of like glorified chlorine. Organophosphate pesticides are here and that would be in your conventional food. And then other pesticides, herbicides, there's the glyphosate, phthalate, metabolites, this is related to plastic. And then parabens. And here's ethyl paraben, let me just, and it's yellow. Let me just show you that at the bottom of every section, whatever is positive for you, there's a paragraph on it. The next category is called acrylic metabolites. So here's another category, other metabolites, and then alkaphenol, and here's BPA. Here's the, the paragraph on this. BPA is one of the highest volume of chemicals produced worldwide. It is a starting material for the synthesis of plastics. Most people have this. Now I have people on this product here called Virad Chem Binder. It helps the body get rid of viruses, radiation, like the uranium, and chemicals, Virad Chem. And the most common thing that people say to me is now their body smells like plastic or they taste plastic on their tongue. And yeah, because everybody basically has plastic in their body, along with glyphosate and along mostly with some heavy metals. And there's going to be other toxins that the hospitals don't test for. There's 1 million medical doctors and there's 25,000 hospitals across the United States. They don't test for chemical toxicity. They rarely ever test for heavy metals. So this is a whole new way of looking at the human body. It's new compared to the standard conventional treatment. And why is it that they ignore mold, chemicals, metals? It's because they don't have good drugs for them. It's nutritional supplements and diet that works the best for these. It's not drugs. Drugs are part of the problem and they're good for life-saving if you need them. They just need to be used appropriately. But in the meantime, if you're at home, you don't have any acute situation going on, you don't need any drugs to save your life on a daily basis, what are you doing for your health? Supplements and diet are the best ways to facilitate proper biochemical reactions occurring inside your body. That includes detoxification, that includes you know, the cleaning of the organs, that includes the proper uh, production of hormones. All this stuff needs proper nutrition and the removal of bad things. And that's what healthcare comes down to. Two things, number one, remove the bad stuff. Number two, put in the good stuff in that order. So if you're trying to take in vitamin C, but you have three foot tapeworms in your intestines or you have mercury in your brain, it's like, you know, what's the point? Get the bad stuff out first. Now, sure, take vitamin C to prevent a virus. Take vitamin D if you're not outside every day. Take some minerals, take, take whatever you want, but focus on removing the bad stuff. When you get the mycotoxins out, there's so much pain that goes away. Believe me, I've been there. When you get the metals out, your brain works better. When you get the parasites out, your appetite is better. Your digestion's a lot better. If you have too much fungus in your body, if you have a white coating on your tongue, too much fungus in your body, you got to get that out. And it may take a year. It may take three years. It took me four years to get all the mycotoxins out of my body. 
The last test I want to go over from Vibrant America is related to the gut. This is a stool test. It tests 171 good bacteria and 67 bad bacteria and parasites and fungus and some viruses. With this sample, I'm going to go through the categories. So we have gut commensals, that's the good bacteria, gut pathogens, that's the bad bacteria. In the gut related to digestion, here's inflammation. And now these are markers. These are related to digestive function, organ function. Is your body digesting protein? Uh, what kind of enzymes are, is your body producing? Here we have markers of digestive insufficiency and malabsorption. Here we have gut metabolites. So for example, is, is your body making enough bile acid? Is your body digesting the short chain fatty acids? Here's other markers related to gut health and function. Here we have microbiome and intestinal permeability. So leaky gut, a lot of people talk about leaky gut. Here's how you can test it. And then your levels of probiotic organisms, the good ones related to leaky gut. Here's the gut microbiome related to SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. A lot of people talk about it. Here's how you test it. Here's the gut microbiome related to cardiovascular health. Yes, what's going on in here can affect your heart. The next one is gut bacteria and autoimmune health. So any autoimmune disease is certainly related to how your gut is performing. Here's gut microbiome and metabolic health. There are certain bacteria that help you lose weight. There's other bacteria that make you gain weight. Here's gut microbiome and nutrition, gut microbiome and neurological health. You can have brain problems caused by a bad functioning microbiome in your gut. Here we have gut microbiome and liver health. Here we have gut microbiome and IBD, which stands for inflammatory bowel disease. And that could be constipation, diarrhea, and alternating constipation, diarrhea. And here we have gut microbiome and IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, similar symptoms, uh, different organisms to test. Gut microbiome and hormones right here. And then here's uh, gut pathogens, bacteria, including salmonella, for example, listeria, H. pylori. You may have heard of these before. Here's parasites, protozoans, giardia. These are microscopic. Entamoeba, blastocystis hominis. Here's helminths parasites. These are flatworms, tapeworms. Here we have viruses. This is all in the gut. This is a stool sample. Rotavirus. I don't know if you've heard of these before. Cytomegalovirus, Epstein-Barr virus. And here's fungi, for example, candida. Here's antibiotic resistant genes. And here's inflammation markers. You don't want inflammation in your intestines. Digestive insufficiency and malabsorption markers. There's just a ton of information and the price is pretty low compared to what you're getting. Here's gut metabolites, bile acid metabolites. How well are you digesting your fats? Here's more markers. So if you're a patient and you want these, just let us know and work with your practitioner on getting the menu of what you want. We can order it. If you're not a patient and you want these, you can become a patient. Just contact the office or maybe there's a holistic practitioner near you. Maybe you can contact Vibrant America and they can refer you to somebody. Or if you have a favorite naturopath, acupuncturist, chiropractor, or holistic MD, you can tell them about Vibrant America and they can set up an account. The simplicity and the ease of use and the extent of the testing and the relatively low price changes everything in the holistic field when it comes to uh, measuring before and after. I would like to have consumer demand change healthcare. So the more information that you have and the higher the desire that you have to get tested and to be on the right supplements and to find the right diet for you, the more desire you have for that, the more you change the providers, the people that have supply, that's the doctors. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Please share this with other people who are interested in improving their health. Thank you.